Welcome everyone to this live stream in case we probably why is the video output excellent condition but uh, on this Chrome and OBS hmm. anyway the usual YouTube streaming magic here welcome everyone to another live stream I hope I don't bore you to death but I wanted to eventually uh, yeah finish this here a little bit also one why is the bitrate so low um, six mbit is maybe only a little bit drop frame so come on YouTube dock this cable anyway can't mix this stuff up um, hilarious my nice content here destroyed by YouTube uh, by a cable bandwidth anyway I hope I don't bore you here to death and stuff and you find this interesting I after all this effort spent on generating a proper video signal I did not want it to leave it here in this um, not really finished state and I actually was thinking here because our previous all the many FPGA live streams our video signal here was quite shifted you see now right now it is somewhat better not perfect but let's see so previously this was quite a bit shifted meaning some all the character bits there in this text mode and i saw thinking going home thinking about now you know what yolo let's yolo this um let's smack it and so what have I done here to compensate this? You know what's like yeah, a bit shifted. You know what we can compensate for this, right? Let's just so this is a little bit. I could have done it differently. They always possibilities are endless. But I basically just compare this X position now. If it's one, if it's like position zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then just set here the mask for masking this. Basically swapping this bits. Um, and you might see that we here this is a little bit um, like half nibble something not really still not 100 percent sure what's going on there but just a recurring theme that hardware and software is difficult and stuff the effect to this is as you see relatively good it's still not perfect though um, you might notice so first of all i because i looked at this so often in the meantime i know that this character bit positions here are still off for example this at and h and stuff should start one pixel earlier i already tried to further mitigate this shifting this one more but this didn't result in the best results also you see that although this pixel there at the t um, y and t and stuff the color is still one pixel off so really mysterious i'm after looking on this so often not really the other bit shifting doesn't really look like it's wrong so super i mean somewhat but yeah it's to be expected right um hunting bugs in your hardware design language stuff hunting bugs in hardware even more time consuming than hunting bugs in software um no surprise there and also i did some extra effort here so previously this was also slightly more confusing because we always had still which also seen we always had i always had like a little bit um a little bit extra stray color at the beginning until i realized yeah we actually generated because the demo is original demo which by the way i can show you something of it's slightly modified but um so if i have here some somewhat original demo code let's synthesize and run this and um, this is this is not entirely the original demo but somewhat the original demo of setting this color here to x and y and there you see and plus the, the color crosshair thing is added by me and also the colors might be slightly different also by the way epilepsy warning sorry i probably should have here um, nature of video signals right and there you see the difference between um, probably yeah, some colorful fading stuff looks amazing uh, by the way also yeah looks amazing 
um, the difference between some demo color patterns like yeah what could possibly go wrong and then trying to generate some pixel precise um, pixel precise stuff and then you realize this clock is a little bit glitchy that is a little bit off and so yeah huge difference also this original code um, generates this x and y pattern for so here yeah, generates this x and y pattern for the whole even invisible video signal right so the video clock the pixel clock is running and there are areas of active um, here timing calculator so you have some front porch back porch sync and so this is also how in previous times in VGA goodness there was overscan for having a color um, outside of your regular CRT uh, content and um, yeah so the original demo generates video signal always like always XY even if this is out of screen um, and then only even so even this more readable more small minimal code here of Mika uh, scam line even that might be a little bit off because independently of whatever is glitchy in my font generation because it is not starting at the correct web position you see so even that was with a more complex not as nicely readable code um, it was working you see here the very the very first pixel line um, there should be the output at y0 we start outputting this and um, maybe this was even correct for 720p so original Mika's demo was running at 7, 7, 720p so I changed this back to 640 by 480 um, so there is still for sure something also a little bit glitchy and out of sync with this video signal generation and with this demo pattern you don't really realize so much because here yeah, uh, scrolling blinking demo pattern but if you generate this pixel precise then you wonder hey where are my first 14 or so of Y scan lines there um, yeah so generating precise pixel precise video data somewhat difficult and I'm still super confused so this is even with this bit compensation stuff here of manually, manually masking the stuff around of yeah let's uh, YOLO that because yeah whatever finally want to have here some result it is like 99% accurate and there you also see how does how do bugs happen in self-driving cars in coffee machines in, in engines it's like yeah whatever I don't know what's going on let's let's YOLO this whatever and uh, yeah and then some rocket is flying upside down right because some sensor is um, installed upside down so yeah this is of course not production ready although yeah certainly Apple and Microsoft would ship it like this I heard or Tesla or something of that sort uh, maybe not SpaceX so yeah rocket science and, and not so because um, again summary this is still even with this compensation stuff still I don't know why this is still one pixel shifted to the right if I correct this in other bizarre patterns emerge it could still be a timing glitch uh, like but anyway I will analyze this another night um, first we will uh, continue now with some more amazing stuff um, one thing I noticed because uh, also one, one more thing for you to playing along at home so next I will integrate this because finally I want to do some software and this one pixel stuff we can fix another um, winter and so this is a timing code from Mika um, scamline and I obviously modified this here so this is original timing data oh, also I don't show this um, I modified this for 640 just typing this in here but probably a little bit off but for this you need to run the PLL um, face lock, lock loop and previously I didn't quite figure out where those values came from top wait, where is it even PLL um, here and I also so I found a tool so this is here some PLL 12 megahertz uh, system board frequency and then this divider divider RFQ and I was like yeah where is this coming from I the last time um, from the other example also the other VGA course that I based upon I was googling around I didn't really quite find something and then eventually today I googled even more and I found that 
some of those tools, are, by the way, we have here some amazing T2s for ICCPLL. It probably comes with uh, whatever was the name of this. Um, also best written correctly. Uh, yeah, iStorm, obviously. So yeah, this ISPLL, because previously I, the other examples, the other VGA core examples, they came with some uh, P PLL divider stuff. And because the last time I didn't quite figure out where this exactly is coming from, I tried some various documentation, Google and stuff. And the last time I linearly interpolated this. And then it, I tuned a little bit like I linearly interpolated this because the original example VGA core was running at 30 megahertz or something and I needed 27 or whatever. So I was like, yeah, whatever that is coming from, let's last just linearly scale this. It was relatively close and I hand tweaked it a little bit and yeah, good enough. So yeah, this you can compute this with ice PLL because it is a pixel clock of our signal here, skin lining all the stuff out. Um, this mystery also solved then, yeah. And this of course, calculating this based on the specification of the uh, FPGA, PLL. Um, one other note, because uh, originally this was slightly difficult or also confusing me because as I said, we had this similar to the graphic demo, we had this stuff always running. So we also generated characters for out of active video area and that made pixel counting this slightly more difficult than it should be because even at before before the beginning and after the end of the scan line, we still kept generating usually with um, what would it be with probably the last character. So because we did not, uh, at least with this code, we didn't increment this. Um, we didn't increment the X and Y when it was not active. So that left that left the character here in our code still generating like using this, the, this, the old values of the register. And I changed this so now we have, by the way, why did this if one. So this is always positive edge of pixel clock. And I now changed this here new. So this is also new addition since last night. Data enable so, and this is only the demo code if one or zero for this other scrolling stuff. And so I added this if data enable, we set this to all zeros, making it a little bit easier. Um, otherwise, I can show you if this is commented out, then we get some additional pixels there, um, like so. And that probably should re result in at least one, if not two or something extra pixels. So, but basically I have the impression that mostly, but again, this is a little bit glitchy, two pixels here, three pixels there. Um, yeah, you see we get, so this might actually be the, and there you see documenting this here. Why do I even show this? Although yes, soon, soon as comments already asked P3, no, we are not, not, not giving up just our new FPGA hobby here, various hobbies, various contents. I hope you like all of them. So this actually might be the actual bug that um, you see we are outputting their pixels and that might actually be precisely those. So not showing the camera. This might be, so there you see this is before we actually think this should be the active area of the scan out there and um, that um, that might actually be the actual bug that we are counting wrong and this is why we output everything shifted by three pixels. This, this still does not explain why um, the color look up. So if you look precisely there, there are all those that, for example, the Y and T, the pixels are, um, the pixels are actually kind of correct there at the Y and T, but the color is of one pixel additionally. Um, so there is may maybe, well, it doesn't really quite explain why the color is different off than the masking. Although maybe the color is off because we compensate for the pixel masking shift off by something, but not the color. So maybe this, this is why we actually output different pixels then um, then the color is uh, something of that sort. Um, so maybe the real actual bug is that our scan line active area counting stuff is off. And again, this flashy graphic demos just don't visualize this. You see some 
blinking scrolling by color pattern you think here yeah, everything is honky dory and in reality everything is some pixels off Anyway, I will probably leave it, um, of course, with this data enabled stuff because um, not only is it too boring and time consuming for me, but probably also for you. We need to continue with P3, Octane, other product reviews and stuff. And um, uh, yeah, also resynthesizing this here. Um, with this, so there you see um, right now this additional stra extra pixels. And so, yeah, this is most likely the original bug. Um, also, yeah, our whole image is also, you see there, now you have some black. So this is for sure the actual bug. Maybe, so again, maybe not in my logic, but probably not only in the other video. It's also there, you see, I use two different video cores and both are different glitchy um, and buggy. But yeah, everything open source. Uh, I always understand no, but not, not everyone can spend so much time like ourselves here um, debugging here the whole night on FPGAs. But Anyway, highly appreciated this code here at all that we also saw so here. But if you just have some colorful color test patterns, then you might not realize this. So yeah, um, I will probably leave it as it. Also, yeah, it's a little bit buggy and compensated and nah, but um, we can read the text and it's good enough. And yeah, it's some, some pixels off, but either I leave it for you guys as an exercise to find at home or First, we integrate this with the Pico Risk Five that we can soon from C software compile to Risk Five, integrate it here with the Pico Risk Five, have the stuff actually really running, um, and then find this stupid VGA core glitchy two or three two uh, pixels off by something at the end. Because um, yeah, certainly more interesting for me and for you to continue with Risk Five with sound and audio and other P3 SGI obtain and other fun stuff. Um, I hope you learned something also that sometimes like yeah, sometimes yeah, it's just YOLO it. Um, it's like, yeah, whatever, um, maybe others. But so usually, but in production system, I have to say usually when in like exact scan, sometimes like scanner reverse, engineer, reverse engineering is like, yeah, YOLO, whatever, yeah, good enough. Usually it comes back. So if I like, it's like, yeah, whatever, I now looked eight, eight hours to this when there are XYZ and we ship it and usually some month later some customer comes like yeah there is some glitch like yeah that's, 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 I, should, I should have spent another eight hours on reverse engineering that but whatever so yeah um, not recommended for production systems but yeah but in, in the whole the recurring theme here of people not believing that stuff takes long and even previous customers of ours with embedded Linux stuff like how can this possibly possibly take a week some driver or stuff like yeah uh, just some 10 hours of three pixel offset of something documenting his whole experience. Um, I think that's everything for this uh, some pixel of there some ISPLL there um, and otherwise uh, relatively fine colorful text. I hope you enjoyed this how many people we have some other content uh, soon uh, beside uh, product reviews. Um, let's see, come to the audience, people want P3. Um, so very theoretically, we could of course emerge all this fun stuff and use a P3 for our daily workstation and synthesize this FPGA stuff, so a little bit slow, but whatever. Uh, also Ryzen, uh, Ryzen 3950X coming soon for even faster FPGA synthesis. Certainly helpful for synthesizing Pico Risk v um, Processor can't run extractions out of order. What do you talk about, Christian? Um, speaking, are you uh, okay? Speaking of P3, how's the performance of that thing playing around a little on the other side of the pond with Xbox 360 and its dock slow despite having three cores? Yeah, they are. Um, this is why the P3, the the one core, the hyper threaded one core, it's it's in order. Um, and um, without whatever, whatever it was, in order and whatever. So that is why the P3 gets the uh, most performance out of the cells, the um, where you can offload the massive parallel data processing, like particle systems and whatever, bling bling. And um, yeah, so yeah, the main processor is dock slow. That is why, although the total number crunching performance of the P3 is quite good, but you need to specially offload it and specially program and offload it to the um, cell uh, SPs or whatever, SPU, SPU, SPU. Anyway, something of that sort. Um, 
it's also not a compiler problem, it's just the nature of this core. It's like, it's a little bit like Atom, right? Atom, Intel Atom, you probably in order. It's nothing the compiler can do, this thing is just um, um, optimized for high clock speed and, and simplicity and, and stuff like that. Um, worth running through a simulator and looking at the waves. Um, yeah, thank you, um, Dev Zero. Um, probably we can try. Um, the original example might have here a. So this is Mika Elizabeth Scott's um, code here. Uh, much more readable, much more smaller. Maybe this is here some test bench or whatever. Time scale, something, dump file, year. So this probably even at least the VGA timing stuff has here some test. Um, maybe we should. Anyway, we need soon. So what is next? Next is now that it is somewhat mostly working. Um, again, integrating. So next, I will try to integrate this into the Pico sock, and then we also need to add a syst add this to the system bus because from the otherwise, if if we finally manage to synthesize this together with the Pico sock, it will just run independently. So we still need to connect this, meaning adding here. Verilog to uh, connect this here to the system bus, meaning this module gets some inputs here, like input system bus of uh, input, uh, input output, yeah, like this bus, whatever, uh, you get the idea, 23 address lines or something, uh, write enable stuff, and then um, adding there some address logic, like if this address is like A000 or something for our fixed frame buffer address, then store this to the VRAM. Um, also, I had some idea, it's cool that some people tune in to this irregular hour. Um, earlier I said it's not easy to have the char set. I wanted to put the character set into the VRAM and then I realized we can't access the VRAM for the character and for the pixel data. and we even had problems with this earlier when we got started with the stuff and remembered all the stuff from university and stuff that I made this VRAM 16-bit here exactly for this reason that I tried to access 8-bit to, although maybe this was somewhat working, maybe Joseph actually compensated this for a little bit, but um, it's actually easier and better probably to have the text, the, the frame buffer pixel text text data and add text color attribute next to each other for 16-bit access here for user to help users and not synthesize some random garbage. And um, I was thinking so, so because if we want a full screen which already is challenging, challenging, challenging enough, uh, this is limited memory. Um, to use, because ideally I would want to use the character data also for pixel data for the optional graphic. Otherwise, this is just wasted if we switch to graphic mode, which we already tested previously. We would waste all this character, which is character memory, which is quite some, uh, somewhere here of uh, 4K, 4K of font, which is half of our frame buffer otherwise. So if we manage to get 16 k bit of frame buffer, um, I, the idea that I came up with, that you learn something more, is that um, we could always, so we do not need to access the VRAM for all of the eight pixels, because all the eight pixels are the same, um, the same, um, color attribute and text text uh, character glyph. So we could probably, sorry, we could probably um, optimize this to preload this to um, the last, at the last pixel of the, the previous always like, we have always eight bits and at the, the seventh bit of a tool to already load the next and then for the whole amount of the next pixel, we of the character eight pixels, we um, can then index into the font memory of something of that sort. So not really sure. So there is still one bit missing. This will be a little bit tricky um, because we still need on all the eight cycles to access 
the um, character set, but something of that sort could work. Um, that's probably, yeah. again, it's the tricky. I actually wonder how we could do sprites because for multiple sprites in a row, we would need to access also multiple sprite, sprite areas. That is also a little bit challenging. So yeah, some challenges, challenges ahead, but there is at least possibility to optimize this in, in some way. Um, we will need to find out later. Um, so yeah, uh, some more comments, uh, some more people, I think might be compiled, okay, compiler problem, we had this, if you want, um, you should funny modding with, modding with, what do you mean with modding funny things? So what is happening here, just arrive right now, welcome Carlos, we mostly finished here some more tech stuff that is uh, finally understanding all the timing glitchiness and mostly worked around this, but yeah. Next we, again, as I said, next we will integrate this more. Um, carbon electronic channel people in the world just like funny things. Um, yeah, or as I, as I said previously already, just product reviews we will continue. I mean, most people, product, million of, millions of people into product reviews, but not into how to generate a stable video signal, obviously. Um, but majority of people come to the channel to see coding. Um, just trying to give opinion. Yeah, thank you very much. Much appreciated. Uh, all the comments always leave, also later, leave comments down below. Majority of people don't get trust in the programming, interested in the programming. Yeah, although um, even if you're not into programming, uh, showing how to see all the details and the steps and what could possibly go wrong and some glitch there and hardware, software, and yeah. Um, probably still more to learn. We will for sure work on the format. Um, the more subscribers we get, the more we can pre-produce stuff and not like live code stuff, but just like work eight hours and then present you the final result in a more sorted way with also some graphics and stuff with some nice pixel data. But right now only so much time, especially if you spent already four hours on this. Um, generating video signals and then at the end it's still glitchy. But again, um, as I showed to you, um, most likely uh, anyway, still some generic video code anyway. Um, great fun software, what millions of people will be happy to fun to see here. So, I mean, what, what I hope theoretically is with this kind of stuff that um, this could attract more people similar to the Raspberry Pi and that is why I want to combine this. Not really sure, I mean, most likely someone else has done this. There's also at least two, three, four video examples for this, also all a little bit different glitchy, especially if you start to look at the precise timing and the precise pixel data and not just some scrolling test pattern. So it means this could be something like the 8-bit guy, some, as I said, instead of 65 or 2 or whatever he's using, um, some modern risk stuff with um, also um, maybe maybe slightly more powerful video hopefully anyway um, so yeah this is what I hope would be interesting for people also to do their own hardware like like not just only source pre-programmed and pre-manufactured components like video and sound but really do this signal waveforms yourself that is certainly why this essence one bit squared icebreaker and similar stuff here is amazing. And also um, see people, we will see this by the way, upcoming IT news later today on the other channel, some hardware news and also how if you do this professionally, you could go into hardware development also as you see. Um, probably somewhat slightly, certainly different, maybe slightly differently challenging than software. I hope you learned something. Um, for the Vita, some good overview and having into console, also my favorite console. Um, yeah, the problem is we cannot do everything and I'm already somewhat overloaded with uh, PowerPC, MIP, Spark and stuff. We will also soon do just-in-time compilation so we will continue to write more amazing illustrating, not only keep it beautifully small simple, but also um, showing you the basics like just in time code generation. I found also some old code I've already written eight, nine years ago, just some totally small proof of concept JIT and we will work on this. So this was proof of concept, just some super most minimal working code for x86 and PowerPC, maybe Spark. Um, and we will also extend this code, not only make it more amazing that it works for more than Hello World, 
but also ports this JIT stuff to MIPS and RISC-V and Spark if I haven't. So yeah, most minimal stuff there and then build from there and also do our own code generation. And um, yeah, that's it for today. Only wanted to share this more working. Do we have this more zoomed in like that? Um, hope you enjoy this and learn something and um, maybe even more people find this interesting like the 8-bit guy. And then also we will continue writing RISC-V software with our low-level stuff. So the DOS code we have previously, low-level on DOS, Sound Blaster, Verge, Voodoo, if you're into this sort of thing, and also use our own low-level, keep it stupid, simple code repository and run on DOS and this Pico Risk 5 hopefully and other firmware directly on PowerPC Spark. Hope you learned something and how many drop frames? Uh, quite some drop frames. So today internet doesn't like us, but whatever. Um, so yeah, hope you learned something. Hope it wasn't too glitchy. Uh, what do you think about um, what you think about make some with Vulkan and OpenGL? Yeah, all this stuff is coming certainly. Um, we will, so not only will I do some most minimal, super tiny OpenGL stuff for running on DOS, Verge and Voodoo, so, so much content we can do the next decades to come. So um, otherwise, yeah, Vulkan, OpenGL, lots of examples out there um, would be most interesting to get some with the Verge and Voodoo and what we have done already and get some more higher level API and over the years build some repository, what I already mentioned a couple of times, of low level code of illustrating readable examples of, yeah, not full OpenGL, but the most minimally that you can understand and learn from that. And yeah, um, something more visual, doom on some run. Yeah, thanks for the, so yeah, more more visual. I mean, yeah, right now it looks like basic, but yes, more visual, visual, visuals are coming. Let's see what kind of graphic demos we can run on this Pico Risk V stuff. Um, and uh, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I hope to see you soon for all this fun stuff to come.